I began working with a psychologist named Ralph Metzner, and his son had died, and he had developed ways of making contact with his own son. And he taught me a technique called channeled communication, uh, channeled writing, sometimes also called automatic writing. And it's pretty simple. I learned it quickly. It really, all it amounts to is um, having a, a, a brief period of meditation, um, and then you have some object, physical object that connects you to the person that you want to talk to. Uh, uh, a, a setting that's familiar and and that yeah, that you can use over and over again. So you go to the same place with the same objects. Uh, usually something that's focusing like a candle, and this meditation process. And then what you do is you simply write out the question that you have for the loved one that you want to talk to. And my experience was that. When I wrote out the question, immediately I had a flood of, of words that would show up in my mind that didn't feel like my own words. They felt like they were coming from somewhere else. And I just simply began writing the, writing the, the answers. Oftentimes the, it was coming much faster than I could write. And so it was so almost like downloading mm. uh, an experience of just a, a, sort of a, a sense of knowledge arriving and then having to find the words that would actually describe the, the knowledge that I was getting. Yeah. And so it was this gradual uh, accumulation of experiences of writing and listening and writing and listening and hearing. Um, and then uh, Ralph Metzner uh, suggested, he said, well, you know, you're having this regular communication with him and you're getting, you're li hearing some pretty amazing things about how things work on the other side. and." and why we're here, and um, maybe you should write a book with Jordan. And it was, a, I, I, was I, I was flabbergasted. I was like, no, that's, <laughs> I'm not going to write a book with my son who's passed away and he's on the other side. I, I, I can't even imagine. So my first reaction was, you know, that there's no way. But So then the next day I went home, I had one of these sessions with Jordan, and I asked him about the idea, and he said, of course we can do that. And within less than five minutes, he had outlined the entire book, all the chapters, boom, 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 and all the content of all the chapters. I, I couldn't even write as fast as I was getting all of the information. And it, it all, he just laid it all out, exactly what the book would be. And in fact, that's what it, it was. I mean, uh, with the exception of the last chapter, which he told me would come later, the, he gave me very, very much exactly what this was going to be. Can you share with us some of the highlights of of what you learned from Jordan or or a thing or two that really stands out in the book for you? The core message that Jordan gave me uh, that showed up in many different ways throughout all of our communications and uh, and that he emphasized at the very end of the book is that there's really no difference between the living and the dead. Um, that, that the relationship that existed while we were here, while we were living, continues after that person has left and gone uh, to the life between lives. And, and that, that not only does the relationship and the love continue, but it can, can remain very active. That you are no more than a thought away from that person, that, that person, that soul that you love. And, and, and with a simple act of thinking about that soul and remaining receptive, you can be an instant communication. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was like the first huge thing that, that I learned uh, during my communications with Jordan. And, it, and I think it's the core of what he wants people to know in the book, uh, that the relationship is still there, it's still intact, it's still as strong as ever, there's still as much love as ever, there, there's still very clear intentions, that person, for, for, the, for the one who's still living, um, that person can provide advice, that person can provide love and support, and that, love, that can just go back and forth, it can remain absolutely reciprocal. Death does not change the relationship.